Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this crazy new world of social distancing and self-isolation. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. Make sure you take some time and check in on your family and friends to see if they need anything. And let's all stick together and we can get through this. So if you're a filmmaker, a creator, you just love telling stories, or it's just a hobby, we're always looking for cool new ways to tell a story. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you five unique ways that you can use a GoPro to enhance your storytelling. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film videos unboxing cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I ever learn anything new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'll film a tutorial and post it on the channel here. If I go someplace cool, I'm definitely going to vlog about it. And if I have any DIY projects around the house, usually something to do with smart home stuff or assembling IKEA furniture, I'll film those too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five unique ways that you can use a GoPro to enhance your storytelling. And yes, you can hit me up in the comments below for clickbaiting because it's not a GoPro, it's actually a Sony camera. So most of you watching likely have some sort of action camera. If you're looking to get one, I'll put a link in the description below for a couple of my favorite action cameras. Like I said, I do use Sony. I have about three of these Sony cameras. I absolutely love them. I really like the sharpness and color that you get from the image off of these guys. GoPro is also a great brand. If you have a GoPro, you can use that too. So with these really small action cameras, you can usually get them places that you can't get your phone and you can obviously do things with them that you can't do with your phone, like submerge them in water. So if you're looking to add a little bit of extra flair to your stories or maybe to your B-roll, then it's time to turn to your action camera and use it in unique ways that you can't use your regular camera. So the great thing about having one of these little action cameras is they usually come with a waterproof case. So you can get a whole bunch of different views using water that you couldn't get with your regular camera. One of my favorites is to take your action camera, put it into a cup, drop some ice cubes into it, maybe pour some water onto it. So by using this method, you're giving the audience a point of view that they don't regularly see, which adds interest to your story or your people. So that's one of my favorite effects that you can do with your action camera. And it's really simple. Just drop the camera in the bottom of a cup and away you go. So the second way I like to use my action camera is I like to attach it to tools that I'm using. So you could attach it to a vacuum, you could attach it to a paintbrush, you could attach it to a level. There's all kinds of different ways that you can attach it to your tool. And one of the easiest ways to attach it to any of your tools is to pick up one of these Joby mounts here. It's basically a little Joby tripod. And I'll put a link in the description below to one of these guys, but you can wrap it around the vacuum pole, you can wrap it around the level, you can wrap it around the broom pole, all kinds of the shovel. You still have snow in your area and you've got some shoveling to do. It's a really cool point of view to be able to attach this to the tool that you're using. So this is another main benefit of having a nice small action camera is that you can attach it to things that's not going to get in your way and it's going to give that audience a point of view they're not expecting to see. One of my other favorite things to do with an action camera is to actually place it inside something. So you can place it inside a mailbox and then you can open up the mailbox and you get the point of view of your hand reaching in and taking out the mail. You can put it inside a refrigerator. You get the point of view of you reaching into the fridge and grabbing something out of the fridge. So by being able to place your camera in these positions, this gives the audience a point of view that they're not expecting to see or that they wouldn't regularly see, which again, this adds interest to your stories. So the nice part, again, about the size of the action camera is that you can place it into spots where you normally couldn't fit a regular camera and you're giving your audience a point of view that they're not expecting or never seen before, which adds interest to your videos. The fourth method you can do with your action camera is something that I like to call the drive over method. So I'll set the action camera up in the driveway and I'll actually drive the car over top of it. This gives your audience something unexpected because they see the door open and the car start to back up. 
and they think, oh, it's gonna hit the camera, it's gonna hit the tripod, it's gonna knock it over, and then all of a sudden, the car goes right over top of the camera. And again, that's a major benefit of these being so small, is you can literally just put the tripod straight out and have them sit flat almost on your driveway. And the fifth and final way that I love to use my action camera is I like to attach it to something that has wheels. So if your kids have a scooter or a stroller or your mountain bike, so basically anything that has a wheel that's gonna give you some motion and interest, I'll attach the action camera, focus it on that wheel, let my daughter use her scooter, take my mountain bike for a ride. But by adding that to your video, you're gonna add some interest using a point of view that the audience doesn't regularly see. So if you don't have an action camera yet and you're looking to pick one up, I'll put some links below to my favorite action cameras, but more importantly, I'll put some links to my favorite mounts. So not only do I use the Joby a lot, but I have a clip mount that I love as well. So I'll put all those links to the accessories and the cameras below. And if you wanna head down there and pick one up, just click the link and it'll take you right straight directly to Amazon where you can purchase it, probably have it at your door tomorrow or in a couple days. So if you're looking for something to do during all this self-isolation and social distancing, head out there and practice your filmmaking and comment below on any cool ways that you use your action camera in your videos. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, head down below, hit that like button. It really makes a difference. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there. And remember, we're all in this together, so be kind to your neighbor.